What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 Vendor Reset video. I do these every single week with Cassie Mendoza to follow tomorrow. So make sure to click the notification bell so you guys stay in touch with the channel uploads and don't miss anyone because I do vendor resets and builds and guides every single week. So make sure you do that. Otherwise, you might not you might miss them. So let's have a look and see. There is currently a global event that has been added to this week's uh, weekly reset. So we have got Hollywood, which is a global event that has just started. You get the blockbuster arm patch. Hostile factions have deployed firearm resistant fields. Break them with explosive EMP or special weapon damage. So if you have a look, if you go into it, you can see that we've got some reward tracks. Go through it. Make sure to get the sunglasses. Uh, Sorry, Awesome Shades a Backpack Trophy. I'm not too much of a fan of these leagues. Like they're just re repetition of doing the same missions over and over again. But there is an exotic cache. So, you know, there's a chance to get the exotic that you don't have. So make sure to do it. Also, recalibration caches are also quite nice if you need materials. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really too much of a fan of this. So you guys can go ahead and do that if you want to. Uh, don't forget as well that there is there are new projects. I, I will check every single Tuesday. We've currently got one now. I'm aware that you can actually get the new exotic pistol, the Regulus, from the project this week. But you would need to have completed the raid. So just do that if you've completed the raid. And then we're going to go over here. And if you guys have a look, you get an exotic cash for completing this SHD requisition. All you have to do is donate these resources right here. It's actually really easy. 300 electronics, polycarbonate, protective fabric, receiver components, and food. It's really easy to do. Make sure to do it. You get experience as well and a named item with your exotic cash. So that's just a quick little side note. Let's have a look and see what the vendor at the base of operations has for us this week. So we've got a lightning rod with perfect salvage with crit chance 7%. Remember guys, as you can see, I don't have crit chance on my pistol. I don't really I don't really ever roll crit chance on my weapons. But just a quick little note, if your triangle is at the first part here, that is where it is in your library. So I don't have any crit chance on pistols in my library. As you can see, pistol damage is over there. So I actually need to look for that. Victor SPR 9mm with health damage, which is 6%. Bread basket, MK16 with fast hands, swap speed 13.9%. 586 Magnum with maxed out stability and ranger. Then ultimate backpack, this is a decent backpack with repair skills as the one piece, with status effects and repair skills with adrenaline rush, which is a very, very nice tanky talent. Errol the Holdings chest piece with tag team, offensive mod slot with status effects 8.5% and some headshot damage. Offensive mod 7.3% headshot damage, not too bad. Then we've got for the drone, we've got 6.3% deflect duration and for the turret 4.2% damage and for the sticky bomb, we've got 6.3% damage. Make sure to check by now if you guys don't have all the blueprints. Sometimes she adds specific blueprints or new ones and then have a look and if you don't have but um, it will be here. If you've already got it, it'll just say empty. So let's go over to the clan vendor for this week and uh, have a look what uh, the clan vendor has installed. This will be level 40. So make sure to uh, come here and always have a look because the clan vendor is normally where we get the most stuff out of all the vendors. Now, just a qu quick little side note. People say there are three vendors in New York. There's only two. The third one is actually the clan vendor, which is this same one, but in New York. So let's have a look and see. We've got a swap chain with perfect unwavering. Swapping to this weapon grants plus 400% weapon handling for 5 seconds. It's a bit overkill, especially for an SMG. I wish this was on like something like a LMG. That would be great. It's got headshot damage as your attribute. With aces and H chest piece as well. Weapon damage. Crit damage is almost maxed out with 11.4%. Tip of the spear backpack with 7.1% skill damage. Foundry bulwark knee pads with explosive resistance. Not too bad. And the armor roll is pretty decent. Make sure to come and pick these up. X45 tactical pistol with reformation. Double barrel sword of shotgun with vindictive reload speed 11%. Then SHD 12 with future perfection, one of the best talents for any kind of a hybrid or skill build. If you want to get overcharged or even just increase your skill tiers, if you're not, if you're only having like a tier three or four, you can get up all the way up to six, which is really really nice. So make sure to utilize this talent on any kind of hybrid or skill build. Custom M44 with steady handed with stability 10.5%. Overlord armaments, knee pads, explosive resistance, all yellow. It's yellow, blue, and red. Not great. Then, Koopa Summer Mask with maxed out skill haste, 14.9% skill damage and weapon damage. I'm going to buy this because I need to get the skill haste from my library. I normally only tend to focus on the main talent, uh, the main attributes that I use. So, skill haste, you know, crit damage, crit chance, things like that. Explosive resistance, hazard protection. So, I don't really worry too much on other things, but it's up to you guys. If you want to be completionists, uh, like I said here, I've got all three right here. So, Koopa Summer Holster with reds and yellows repair skills weapon handling very decent set especially if you want to go for uh, a hybrid build <laughs> crit damage explosive damage and headshot damage and it normally rolls with yellow mod slots so keep that in mind defensive mod slot 16.346 armor on kill okay so my highest mod i think is 14.9 this is great i'm going to get two of these for my recent build i just posted the immortal 2.0 make sure to go and check that out it's amazing then we've got 14.2 percent snare health for the chem launcher then for the Firefly, 6.5% damage. And then finally for the shield, we've got 4.4% holstered regeneration. 
the theater settlement vendor we have got tsunami shotgun with perfect pummel and accuracy as the attribute ksg shotgun magazine size with optimist lvoac with perpetuation optimal range overload armaments gloves with rainbow rolls Healer got knee pads with hazard protection and repair skills. Defensive mod with 8.5% blind death resistance. For the Seeker Mind, 4.9% skill haste. For the shield, we've got 4.2% active regen. For the Firefly, plus one max targets. And for the decoy, 6% duration. The Campus Settlement Vendor. She has got Commando, which is a marksman rifle with perfectly naked crit chance 8.5%. Hunting M44 with Optimist and 19% optimal range, which is not too necessary on marksman rifles. It's up to you if you guys want to use it, but I would personally not use it as an attribute for a marksman rifle. L86 LSW with headshot damage 8% and future perfect. And then we've got uh, all the holdings. Mask with very low rolls over there, but the weapon damage is almost maxed out. Douglas and Harding uh, holster with three quarter rolls, weapon handling, headshot damage. Utility mod slot with 10.3% skill haste, not too bad. Then 6.4% burn strength mod for the chem launcher. And for the hive, we've got 8.5% revived armor repair. Remember, this is only for the revive hive. Don't put this on any other hive. Then for the pulse, we've got 8.7% radius. And then for the trap charge, we've got 4.1 second duration. We're going to move over now to the dark zone vendors. Before we do, let me just quickly show the targeted loot for you guys' convenience. Overlord armaments, which will be in DZ West. Then DZ South knee pads. And then DZ East will be skill attachments. Let's have a look and see what Dark Zone West vendor has got for us this week. The Virginian Rifle, which is very, very strong. This has got headshot damage 9% with perfect boomerang. If you guys were looking for it, it is right here for you. Make sure to pick this one up. SASG 12 shotgun with Vindictive, swap speed 13.7%, lightweight M4 with Lucky Shot, could have hit chance 7%. True Patriot gloves with reg armor regen, 3.9k with 122k armor. Hardwired knee pads with repair skills, 15.1 Walker and Harris gloves. Rainbow rolls, but it does have headshot damage there, a tribute. Then Cheska knee pads with crit damage and weapon damage, not too bad. Defensive mod, 8.2% disrupt resistance for the Seeker Mind, 4.9% skill haste for the shield, 4.2% shield health for the Firefly, 7.9% speed, and then for the decoy, 6% duration. Dark Zone East Vendor, we've got Commando once more with 9.5% magazine size, perfectly naked, custom M44 with future perfect and maxed out damage to armor, which is something I do need, but unfortunately I don't have enough Dark Zone credits, which you acquire by completing landmarks and just uh, deconstructing items in your bag while you're farming in the DZ, then extracting those deconstructed items, which in the form of credits, then L86 with perpetuation, health damage 9%, ongoing directive mask with weapon handling, weapon damage, Tip of the Spear Holster with Armor Regen as the attribute. Five Lumen Mask with Armor Regen Repair Skills. Wave and Wear Holster with Maxed Out Health. Utility Protocol. Uh, so yeah, Intensity Mod with 10.2% Skill Haste. Then we've got for the Chem Launcher, plus one ammo. For the Hive, we've got 7.3% Health. For the Pulse, 8.8% Radius. And for the Trap, we've got 5.9 second duration. Darks on South Fender. We have got Walker and Harris Matador Backpack. Oh, oh yes. And this has got Hazard Protection as well. 8.6% with weapon damage and 5.5% weapon handling. Very, very nice. This has got perfect adrenaline rush. It is buffed from 20% to 23%. Very, very nice. That is, if you add all of them together because it stacks three times, it's very good. And that's a significant difference. So make sure to come and purchase this. I have got some very good Matador backpacks, but I might actually get this one. I might go and farm it. Uh, so definitely come and get it. M1928. With preservation, this is an SMG with health damage, low rolls. AUG A3 with in sync, very good talent with magazine size 9%. X45 tactical with killer. True Patriot backpack with headshot damage 7.7. .7. Hardwired chest piece with hazard protection 8.6. RNK backpack skill damage, hazard protection, vigilance. RNK chest piece with empathic resolve and headshot damage with explosive resistance. This could become a very nice. Um, hybrid piece because you do get 20% incoming repairs which is very nice if you're doing a self healer build then offensive mod 10.3% crit damage which is actually pretty good gaffer tape 4.3% damage for the drone and then for the turret 7.3% health for the sticky bomb we've got 4.8% blast radius let's move over to New York and see what the vendors have to offer there first vendor is going to be Marco in the base operations in New York he has got for us an FALSA with perpetuation, crit chance 6.5%, M700 carbon with killer, optimal range, KSG shotgun with pumped up, M45A1, vindictive, very good pistol this, Heligard backpack with wicked and explosive resistance, Murakami gloves with hazard protection and skill damage, Murakami holster with repair skills 18.8, .8. very nice holster if you guys are looking for this set, very very good set for any kind of skill build to be honest. Then we've got utility mod with 16.4% repair skills, which is actually pretty high, offensive mod 10.1% crit damage then for the 
uh, turret, 5.7% duration for the Firefly, 5.8% blind effect duration for the trap. We've got 4.3 second duration for that. Let's move over to Roy Benitez, the final vendor for New York for this week. So he has got for us uh, ACRE with Future Perfect with damage to armor, decently rolled one as well. Custom Melody 6A2 with Optimus maxed out health damage. Custom M70 MCS with 12.6% swap speed and ranger. Military M9 with 9.5% magazine size with reformation, sorry. Chest piece with China Light, uh, Trauma with weapon handling explosive resistance. Honey you gloves with hazard protection and armor regen, all blues. Then the Petrov holster with crit damage at 10.8%. Utility mod start with 8.6% skill duration, defense with 4.7% crit chance, and organic circuits, which is one extra more to ammo for the turret. And then for the chem launch, we've got 4.1% duration. And then finally for the decoy, 6% duration. That's going to be it for the vendor reset for this week. Make sure to stick around and click the notification bell for Cassie Mendoza, which will be coming up tomorrow. So yeah, with that being said, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll be seeing everybody in the next video. Peace out, agents.